Hi, this is Dominic from Paphos Life. I'm currently in Cato Paphos. I've got the M Boutique Hotel to my right, the Central Church, straight ahead up there. And this building here is going to be, or so I've been led to believe, a little museum dedicated to St. Paul, because St. Paul's pillar is just behind it on the other side of the church. And we're going to cross over here, and I figured I fancied walking the entire length of Bar Street today before uh, it gets busy at night, obviously, seeing as it's about half eleven at morning. There's a Pivamos Hotel up there. And Chahi Indian street food on the right. Actually, none of these places will be open just yet. Parking here for three euros. Pricey for parking, to be honest. Most of it's two euros if it's private. Ace's bar there. Bit of an Australian influence. Seems to call it being a little gift shop next to it. We don't have to go in there, but not in this film. There's a nice fountain there. And this is the... I can't call it a square, because it's more of a triangle shape. That guy didn't know what a roundabout was. But this is the start of Bar Street here, believe it or not. According to Google Maps, anyway. Different, fair enough. What make out of it? Oh, it is a bar. There's a kebab joint up here. And they appear to be doing some renovation work over there. And not before time, I have to say. If that place has been abandoned for quite a while memory serves me right. I don't know if this place is still in operation, doesn't look it. But I do know that uh, Baywatch, well until recently it was, they're obviously having a bit more renovation work done. Judging by that green Sheet in front of it, there's Friends Bar. And the uh, Ayanta uh, Indian restaurant over there. <laughs> we got a bottle hanging down from the balcony up there. And why? It does have a wind chime in it. This is a bit weird. Demokritos, that's where they have the uh, Greek meat, uh, dancing uh, restaurant. And down there will lead you to, uh, well, the seafront, uh, Pinguinos, and Tea for Two. It's the name, but three places. Just to get your bearings. There's a nice little chapel over the way there. Now, unlike somewhere like Pataras, which tends to shut down at winter time, uh, Paphos is pretty much open all year round. I mean, some places will close 
especially in January and February for a few weeks. But uh, I know places like Flares are open all year round just about. But uh, one of the reasons is uh, there's a local population in Paphos as well. And they like their food especially. And Old Town at night time becomes very busy during the winter period. But if you're here to party and you can go to Flares, and I think Bubbles is open at the moment as well. I'll have to come down here at night to uh, see that. All the fast food places have certainly spruced themselves up a bit. Dracomel Kebab Pizza House. Fish and chips. And the Wheat Chief Bar, is this actually open yet? I don't know. We've got signs up, so you think so. But, uh, big no entry sign, so I'll put that as a down to a no. tattoo studio on the other side of the road there, it used to be one here. How many tattoo studios do you need? But how many tattoos do you want? Well, right, now we're going through the, let's say, the less salubrious part of Bar Street. And while I'm here, in this bit, when there's not a lot to talk about, that I haven't already said, several times over, so I was laughing a bit of graffiti on the wall there. Uh, if you like our films, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and share them far and wide. The more people who see them, the more ad revenue we get. You know the routine. Oh, there's some new boards gone in here. Oh, someone smashed a window, that's why. It'd be rude not to have a little nosy in there. You can see there's an old bar here. I don't think that's an open invitation to go for a wander though, really. Doesn't by the smell of it, someone might have just been using it as a toilet anyway. So. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, that's the YouTube bit done. And if you want to help us out financially, go to our buymeacoffee.com forward slash Paphos Life page and buy us a few coffees. They are greatly appreciated. Please do support us that way if you can. And if you want to get something back in return, go to our etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Paphos Live page, where you can get memorabilia from Paphos using photographs, etc. that we've taken, such as uh, cups, calendars, pictures, t-shirts, all sorts. Take a look on there and follow us on Facebook, our Paphos Live Facebook page. Also our Paphos Chat Facebook group, group. And finally, our Cyprus Chat Facebook group, which covers the whole of Cyprus. That's the marketing app the way with, yay! And uh, at Linica's bar on the right, I wonder if the noted crisp thief would appreciate the state it's in at the moment. And we're getting out of the mucky area part of Bar Street and I know that uh, Coles the restaurant is up and about, I can hear them and they have a wide variety of menu options there again I had to point out it is like before lunch so and you expect them to be heaving now we've come to the halfway point in this film just about I'm going to cross over here and we'll see what renovation work has been going on on the Posidonus Avenue renovation project. If you recall, a lot of the road had been closed off for several months and uh, most of it's, well the road's open up again now and all the paving is done, but they're just finishing off the landscaping. 
I want to see what's happened here. Uh, I've got a moment, I've got to go this way, haven't I? Find the lamp. Still no water in the water feature. We got the seating done now, right? You see, it's nice and wooden planks all in place. Just needs a final push. And it needs a roof on the shade area. Right, let's head back down to the seafront. Now, what side of the road? I think I'll go on the other side for a change. So normally, Hug the shop, so to speak. Yeah, it could even cut through and uh, take in a bit of the coast path. If I can find the appropriate alleyway, that's what I'll do, I think. Give you a bit of variety. But yes, the renovation work from here down to the uh, Seafront is all complete now. There's still a bit of a mystery, like you can see them on the other side of the road. Just past the zebra crossing, what those funny round things are in the paving. Now originally I'd thought that that's where they were going to stick some more shading in, but I had another look at the uh, original plans and there's no shading supposed to go in there, so I have no idea what they're for. Perhaps they're going to be lights when it's done, I don't know. If someone does know, please do let us know. Anyway, we're gonna go down here now. This will take us uh, out onto the very small, but perfectly formed Alike Beach. You got uh, the art end of the Almira on the left there. And on the right, we got the Annabelle Hotel. Very nice little avenue, this. You can see the pool of the Elmira in there. Well, one of them. There were a couple of outdoor pools. From memory, I don't think they're heated. playing ping pong if you're wondering what that noise was Now we're coming down. Here we are. Pharmacy. Oh, so I'm pointed to a pharmacy. There's the beach area itself, which, given that it's midday, we'll have a few people on it. I'll steer clear of. Respecting people's privacy and all that. And I'll walk down this way for a change. Weather wise, still nice and sunny. One day I'll say something different, but not today. <laughs> now it's supposed to be getting cooler over the weekend, but I've had reports like that for the last few weekends now. And the wind that we had yesterday seems to have died down again.
which would be a shame for all the tour companies that cancel their outings to Blue Lagoon and all that for the next six days. Well, that's the weather for you. There's a mysterious pillar there I've never noticed before. Wonder what that's about. It's St. Paul's other pillar when he fancied a dip. Right, and I'm gonna, there's a little lookout here. I'll go up on that and finish this film, I think. It's a good place to end. There's a brief view of the seafront. I'll obviously be filming that while I'm here. What I'm gonna do is walk down the seafront and do a Facebook film. And then walk back up and do another one for YouTube because these companies are a bit fussy if you show the same film on different platforms. Ooh, bit of a whiff from the loos there. So, that was Bar Street and a bit of the Poseidonis Avenue renovations. And that's the seafront, which you'll see in the next film. Thanks for watching, cheers.